everybody, Prospector Paul here. Hey, I'm coming at you live from Stanton, Arizona. And we're getting close to a thousand subscribers. And we're gonna have us a giveaway in honor of that. So I got some stuff set up here. Let's go over. So one of the prizes is gonna be this Mine Lab Go Find Metal Detector. That's a real nice metal detector. A great entry level machine. It's gonna come with two camo skins, a digging tool, some earbuds. A smartphone holder because apparently when you're walking around with this it'll leave you a little trail on your smartphone tell you where you've been all right in addition to that we are going to give away as a grand prize hello we're gonna give this little nugget away how much does that thing weigh 1.315 that's a nice little nugget and if you notice kind of heart shaped because I appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in we're also going to give away a little coin package kind of goes along with the metal detector don't it so we got a Indian head penny from 1902 got a standing liberty quarter no mint mark oh, no I actually think they're right there yeah they would have been I don't see a mint mark 1925 and this is a little piece of history how about that found this in a wash it's a seated dime yep it's a dime 1849 the year the gold rush started the third one <laughs> and it's from new orleans so somebody drugged that bugger from back east and lost it out here in the arizona desert and i also have a i think that's a tenth ounce silver round that i'm going to throw in now I was going to give away all the gold that I filmed along the way and uh, it just hasn't been adding up fast enough. So what I decided to do, let's shut this off. And since the gold wasn't adding up, I decided I'll just add a little of my own. There, something like that right there. Ooh, look at that, huh? <laughs> look at that piece. <laughs> yes, sir, that added up a little better. So we're gonna give away the gold, we're gonna give away the metal detector, the gold nugget, and the little coin package. All right, so do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a penny and it helps me out a lot. So anyways, on with the show. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in. Alrighty, Prospector Paul here. Hey, I always wanted to know what's up there on that mine. Right about there. I think I found me a way to get up there with the quad. So let's go for a little road trip. Yeah, I found me a little cut off of this road. So yeah, I think this is gonna take me around, take me back up, like a switchback. We're gonna find out. Hopefully it ain't too rough. It's kind of warm today. It's around 80, snakes are out. So I'll be up in some rocky country and we might have run into a rattler or two out sunning themselves. It's gonna get cold tomorrow, so they'll go back away for a few weeks. But Anyways, let's get up here and see what this mine's all about. Looks like I'm disturbing some of the local residents. <laughs> trying to figure out what I'm doing here. So am I. Boy, this little guy's fresh, huh? Check that out. Hi, little buddy. They're always so cute. Hi, little guy. How are you, huh? I'll get out of here, Ma. Alright, looks like that's the road.
see all that black rock? That's why uh, there's, you know, there's some right here too. So the radiation from the sun has caused those rocks to turn black. They've been sitting there that long, the sun beat them up. That's called desert varnish. And uh, the Paleo Indians came in here and that's how they uh, was able to leave their little marks behind, you know, the, the petroglyphs. They just beat away with a rock on another rock. Made their little animals and designs. Pretty cool stuff. These rocks ain't been moved in a long, long time. All right, uphill. two-hander from here <laughs> definitely won't be filming this on the way down I have to have one hand on the brake all right I'm gonna yeah put two hands on the wheel here wow what a view from up here check this out woohoo <laughs> so wheat there's my camp Oh boy, the old mace is pretty, huh? It's cool up here, man. I like this. It's all uh, claimed up, so I can't metal detect up here or anything like that. I don't do not do that on other people's claims. I think that's the city of Congress off the distance there. That's just an RV park. Looks like its own little city. Pretty steep back there. I'm glad I put two hands on it. I had to throw it four-wheel drive. Uh, I'm gonna go up a little farther and see what it's like. Wow, there's been some workings here, huh? You see all that down there, all them big rocks, all them stones. Somebody moved a lot of material. They had to be finding gold. You don't move that much material and not find any gold. Looks like I'm getting to the top of this old bugger. I'm sure it's an illusion. I'm sure it's higher than this. I mean, from seeing it from camp, this road don't get that close to the top. Sure is nice up here, though. A lot cooler. <laughs> Only a couple thousand feet. <laughs> this is pretty cool. No water tank up here. This probably run in the 70s. The black pipe. So you got the mountain coming down both ways. And then a third way there. Had to be some gold hung up in there somewhere. Everything's at an angle. So bizarre. Pretty darn cool. Huh. I didn't realize there was a road back there. It right, looks like I missed my turn. This is... Uh, the northern part of the the road somewhere back here it went back to the south i must have missed that didn't see it i go back through this canyon not looking forward to it it felt like i was being watched probably a cat up here somewhere oh well we'll make lots of noise i wonder what the heck that was Looks like an old dog house <laughs> all right gonna turn the buggy around and head for that mine Pretty cool view right here. That's almost straight up and down. This is where I felt like I was being watched in this canyon. Be a good place for a cat. Still cool up here though. Unbelievable. This is pretty neat. I'd do more of this stuff. 
Well, this is really neat. I'm looking due south, and I can see there's a mine down there, and then there's a wash. And that baby just opens up and opens up. It is huge. That is one monster wash coming off of this hill. No wonder they worked all that. There's some workings down there. Maybe I can get down that way before it gets dark. Do some filming down there, but they was rocks piled as high as you can imagine. No dirt in between them, so you know it's all been worked. Oh well. I see where I missed my little cutoff. I was right there. I should have went up that road. <coughs> yeah. Alright. I'm gonna go catch that road and go uphill. So I'm standing on the tailing piles. Now you can see from camp. Actually, uh, 71's out there and 89, and you can see this pile for, man, it seems like 50 miles. It's unbelievable. Definitely a heck of a landmark. I've done a lot of work here over the years. So part of the reason I come up here is uh, last April, outside and I watched a green orb come out of this mine and it shot down the hill and I thought I didn't just see that and then sure enough another one come out and it was gone and I never did see another one and that was last April I was playing cards the other night talking with a gentleman and he said he saw three green orbs come out of this about five years ago so I was curious how big the hole was or the cave get an idea how big these orbs might have been and it's been kind of filled in not much of a hole as you can see but there's still a little bit of one down there hard rock mining there pretty crazy stuff going in there in case some orbs are in there <laughs> man I can't believe this valley though and this camera is the worst GoPro suck for distance and they suck for close up <laughs> just good for action that's a neat neat little draw starts right there and just wiggles its way out my goodness and my claims is over here I'm quite a ways from that draw I wonder if that was a little volcanic action there. Man, it is cool up here. And I thought, I didn't just see that. And then sure enough, another one come out. And it was gone. And I never did see And this camera was the worst. GoPro suck for distance. And they suck for close up. <laughs> just good for action. That's a neat, neat. All right, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. We had a good time making it. Please do me a favor, like, share, and comment. That would be awesome. Make sure you subscribe. It's the only way you're going to win the uh, giveaway, and it'll get us to a 1,000 faster. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Prospector Paul, out. Uh -huh.